hello booktube it's time to make another video even though i looked i made a video about 19 hours ago i try to go 24 hours but it is 6 16 my wife went into work it's at 5 45 she went into work early and so i'm making a video earlier because it is the last day of the year of 2016 Time to put away my December 2016 diary down on the lower level into a bin with the other diaries. Usually uh, I post pictures of my diaries of the whole year. I'll probably do that tonight. After I make this video, I'll go downstairs, down in the lower level, the open basement, take out all my 2016 diaries, spread them all out, put them in order and take a photo of them and put them in my live journal blog. I have a community in live journal called Paper Expressions that uh, I post pictures of my diary in. It's open to anybody who has journals or diaries or, but I'm the only person that really posts anything in there. There's another one called Embodiment, but I post in there, but so I'll take a photo of all the 2016 diaries and from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. You know, I don't remember anything about 2016. Nothing stands out in my mind. It's just every day is the same. Every year is the same. Every month is the same. Every week is the same. Just the eternal now, constantly flowing on the river of death. So yeah, I'm sitting here. I got my 2000, no, my 2017 January diary already. Tomorrow I'll start on page one. January. You know, I forgot to put the day down. I have January 2017. It's January the 1st. 2017. January 1, 2017. Page 1. So I'm all ready for tomorrow. If I'm still alive, I'm not dead. I told my wife uh, tonight when she got up to get ready to go to work that I'm dying and that I expect I don't expect to live much longer. I have a doctor's appointment next month, my yearly physical, and I'm going to ask my physician what I'm dying of. I know I'm dying. I just don't know what it is, so I'm going to ask him. So what am I dying of, doctor? Give me a blood work. Uh, check me out. See what's killing me. So yeah, so it's 616. It is December the 31st. It's the last day of the year. I'm sitting here at the dining room. I was reading this evening. I'm trying to finish Miss Laid. Hopefully I'll finish this tonight by Neil Zink. Last night I read the new book I got in the mail, The Art of Rivalry, Four Friendships, Betrayals, and Breakthroughs in Modern Art by Sebastian Simi. And I also read The Feud, Veramir Nagatov. Edmund Wilson, The End of a Beautiful Friendship by Alex Beam. So I read those last night, reading this to the evening. I got out last night. Uh, I was thinking about a book that I was reading in uh, 2016 that I really was liking and reading and getting into, but I put it back down in my library. But I got it out last night, and I've been, I was, it's a book I read in the morning for my devotions. It's called The Money Cult, Capitalism, Christianity, and the Unmaking of the American Dream by Chris Lehman. I was really enjoying this, and uh, I just, I don't know why I put it down in, in the lower level, but I got it back out to read because I was getting kind of tired of reading uh, systematic theology and reading Dutch Puritan theology and in reading Old Testament theology, I wanted a little break, so I got this out. The Money Cult. So I was reading that this morning for devotions. 
Uh, also today, uh, I had to volunteer at the local library used bookstore called The Book Nook. And uh, while I was there, I mainly read uh, Louis Akerklaas, the novel The Pursuit of the Prodigal. I'm only halfway through this thing. It's, it's 356 pages. I'm on page 137. So when I was at the book nook, the used bookstore, the library, I got these books to brought, I brought home. The book I got for volunteering was this book. It's a novel, The Black Venus by Jameis McMammoth. And I bought a, a Jane Austen that I didn't have in my Jane Austen collection, the North Hanger Abbey. And I found a Victor Hugo novel, The Toilers of the Sea, translated by Isabel F. Hapgood, out of the French. So I got those. And I got this thing for a dollar. The Book of Job. It's the Old Testament Book of Job. See, there's a Book of Job. Illustrated by the engraver and poet William Blake. See, it's all these little drawings from the Book of Job. So I got that. I also got a magazine that was in the magazine. Well, the, the book not only sells children's books, young adult books, it sells magazines. And I saw this magazine for a quarter. It's a photography magazine that was withdrawn out of the library system. Uh, and I was looking at it because I like photography. And I noticed in it was uh, a photo thing of William Burroughs, the beat poet. He was a photographer. He liked to take photos. And so there's a sample of his photos in here. So it's like William Photos. So, there's only a quarter, and I like that picture of William Burroughs. I got that. Also, today I, I, I went through my uh, Flickr account and uh, saved some... I take photos throughout the year. You know, I told you my cameras, and I got a photo album. I, I got a bunch of photos I put in here today. Like, you know, I take photos of flowers and of the family and birds and, you know, photos like that. So I got that today. Photos from 2016. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I did it 2015, 2016, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it 2017. I wanted to leave some photos for our grandchildren to look at. Hey, there's grandpa's photos. Uh, my grandfather was a photographer and I always regret that when he died, I didn't get any of his photos. He had a huge steel cabinet of, of little uh, slides. He used to show slides of families and our family photos and places that he traveled. And I regret that I never got those. So I want to leave for our grandchildren. Hey, a photo album from Grandpa. Now my wife has stacks and stacks of photo albums of our kids growing up, our grandkids, our trips as a family as we were growing up and raising our kids. So yeah, but I want to... So I have three of these now. And uh, so I like photography. These are the photos that I didn't get in the album. There were. So that's what's going on here in my book world. Like tonight, I, like I said, I want to finish Mislaid. I got tired of reading The Pursuit of the Prodigal. I've read that almost all day. So I'll read this. I'll read this. And I'll read this tonight. Nothing on TV. There are a lot of college football games on, but we don't get the channels that they're on anymore. 
we're down to basic cable so there's no football which is fine with me so I hope that you have a good uh, new year uh, I don't celebrate the new year I don't celebrate Christmas I don't celebrate anything really to me every day is the same tomorrow will be January the 1 to me it will just be like it's another day in the flow of existence and the eternal now so but for those who do celebrate the new year stay sober don't drive when you're drunk stay cool and I hope that you have a good new year until next time bye